हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी डिस्कस ऑन ओरेकल ऑर्डर टू केस साइकिल ट्रांजेक्शनल फ्लो इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस ऑन ओरेकल ऑर्डर टू केस साइकिल फंक्शनल फ्लो सो इन फंक्शनल फ्लो वी नो दैट द फर्स्ट एंटिटी अकर इज द कस्टमर कस्टमर पुट द ऑल दिस रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ आइटम डिटेल these item details are entered in the system and the manufacturing company or our organization by using that requirement detail he fill up this order detail and uh, generate the order in the system by using that order detail the pick release team are release that uh, item quantity from the inventory or warehouse and uh, send that consignment to the customer location by using the shipment for the shipment they are using the airway roadway or uh, seaway after the receiving the good at customer end uh, the receiving team are generate the invoice in the system and the receiving team collect the money from the customer side and the customer side uh, payment has been done at the receiving end then this uh, receiving amount detail has been generated in the system and the bank reconciliation process has been uh, occur so this is the whole process called the order to case cycle functional flow now we discuss on oracle order to case cycle transactional flow in the transactional flow first uh, occur is a uh, book the sales order as per the customer requirement the order team has been generate the book order in the system by using the sales order screen here the screen are uh, shown that all these requirement detail which have we have required at a time of create a sales order in the oracle system we have required customer uh, order type price list uh, sales person and the ship to and bill to location on the main screen we have also fill up the required field on the sales order main screen enter the extra field detail on the other tabs example that payment term shipping method and fob all these detail are fill up in this other tab enter the line item detail all these item re related information we fill up in the line item detail tab after fill up the all these required detail we have required to uh, click on the book order for book the order before booking the order the order status is become uh, entered after the uh, sales order has been booked it the status become a uh, book order after entering the sales order information click the book order and book the sales order now status become uh, uh, sales order status become booked over here you can see that the status is booked this process is called uh, sales order book process after book order process has been completed we have required to launch pick release for releasing that amount from this inventory we have required to launch pick release process for the navigation for the launch peak release is shipping release sales order release sales order on uh, this screen is showing the launch peak release over here we have required to enter the order number and find out that order uh, detail on this screen the peak release is based on the standard rule or order number based on rule like standard and hit the tab button enter your sales number and hit the tab button to find out that order launch peak detail we have required to fill up this order number destination type ship to location or customer detail now we go to the shipping window in shipping tab we have required to enter the auto create delivery auto peak confirm yes and auto peak delivery also yes now click on execute now you will get following message peak release online has been successfully completed this message uh, so that that uh, the quantity we have requested on the sales order screen it has been uh, picked from the inventory after the peak uh, release process has been completed we have required uh, it, uh, also the launch peak release process will trigger some of the other processes like peak slip report 
shipping execution report and auto pack report we have shown that all these requests run in the background automatically when the launch peak release has been completed after the launch peak release has been completed we have required to transact that uh, quantity from the inventory to shipping area for that uh, we have required for the transact mode screen so the next step is a transact mode here uh, here the one condition is applied that if the auto peak confirm is set to no at a time of release the peak order screen release peak order screen Uh, screen if we select the auto pick confirm is no then we have required transit move order by navigating to the inventory responsibility and move order number we have put in the pick wave tab and find out the all these order uh, line detail navigation is inventory super user move order and transit move order enter the move order number and hit the tab button and click to find out over here select the line item which we have required to transact uh, at shipping area for the uh, different different type of order we have required to select uh, different different uh, line uh, take an example if the one order have five line item and we have required to only two line item right now see the customer location then we have only select uh, two line item and uh, transact that uh, item to the customer's uh, shipping area we select the that line item and allocate that quantity to uh, to the customer and after allocating this quantity we have required to transact that uh, quantity to the shipping area by using the transact button now when the transact move order process has been completed we have required to ship that material to the customer ship to address for that matter we have required to complete the ship confirmation process uh, we have navigate to the order management super user responsibility and uh, in that uh, we have gone through the shipping tab and shipping tab gone to the transaction tab enter your order number and hit tab and click find that button we can uh, find this sales order uh, required line item detail over here after we have required to create a delivery for this line item so we have click on the line status and right click and uh, create uh, select the create delivery link so automatically delivery id has been generated after the delivery id has been generated the next step is uh, we shown that the ship confirm and close so next step we have required to confirm that ship so we go to the delivery tab and uh, delivery tab we have select this line item and click on the ship confirm process after the ship confirm uh, button has been clicked we have seen that screen over here we have requ uh, required for uh red from the four radio button there is four radio button is ship enter quantity ship all back order cycle count if we require to all this quantity to back order then we have select that but right now we have required to ship that all this item to the customer shipping address so we can select over here ship all and uh, click on okay button here you can see that four check box is there he is uh, set delivery in transit it will automatically set the delivery and in transit mode close the trip to uh, whenever we ship confirm process has been uh, uh, occur at a time background uh, there are some background process has been automatically uh, uh, run so i will show in the next slide we can click this uh, okay button after the ship confirm complete message pop up is delivery was successfully confirmed uh, and delivery this is a message screen the status in the shipping transaction delivery tab should be closed then uh, we will go to the view request and find that uh, all these request which are right now running in the background now we can see that there are five request interface trip uh, to stop vehicle load sheet detail commercial invoice packing slip report and billing bill of lading report this all five request has been completed automatically and automatically generated at a time of seed confirm uh, has been done 
friend if uh, this process has been failed then we have uh, required to uh, resolve that issue by using the interface trip proc request the status in shipping transaction delivery tab should be closed after the ship confirmation process has been completed and the sales order line status will be changed and it will become a shipped there are five requests which are run in the background that is one is a bill of lading a legal document between the shipper of the particular item and the courier detailing the type quantity and destination of the item being carried second request is packing slip report so the list of item packed and the commercial invoice it is used as a customer declaration provided by the person or corporation that is exporting and item across the international border it commonly include an itemized detail of the package contain and tax related information this invoice has been detailed information of this item detail and all this tax related information fourth is a vehicle load sheet report this all uh, this report gives the summary of the information of the load for given trip the delivery information is printed in this report and finally fifth is the interface trip probe it is a must required request to run at a time of ship confirmation process when shipping execution ship the delivery shipping module need to interface the information back to the order management team and oracle inventory management module also this is done via interface trip stop concurrent program om interface occur first then inventory interface occur after the om interface has been completed the so friend this is a ship confirmation process after the ship confirmation process has been completed we have required to create a invoice in the receivable uh, module for that matter we have required to run the background workflow background process by using that uh, request name workflow background process and we have provide the all this parameter item type here the item type is om order line uh, and the process deferred timeout is yes yes and after we have submitting this request this process has been completed parallelly we have run this request workflow background process and item type is a om order header and uh, same parameter for the process deferred and process timeout now submitting this report this all these ship confirmation and order detail has been generated in receivable and the one process automatically has been scheduled or generated is called auto invoice master program request set in that request set that uh, there are two request auto invoice master program and auto invoice import program these both request are generate the all these order related information in the receivable module and create a invoice in receivable for uh, view this invoice we have navigated into receivable responsibility navigation is receivable transaction and transaction here the screen display the all this in, uh, invoice related information here the reference number we have provided uh, order number and query that order number we can find out all this invoice related information here the number is shown is uh, invoice number here the all this information of the order we can see that ship to bill to address order detail by using the line item we can get the all this line item information over here we can get the all this balance detail tax related information this is the invoice generated screen so friend in today's session we have shown the all this order uh, to case cycle transactional flow first step we uh, so is a book order process next step we go to the peak release and uh, then we have required to transact move order we have required to transact that quantity and then we have required to ship confirm we have ship the material to the customer destination ship to address and then after the ship confirmation is completed we have required to create the invoice so friend this whole process called order to case cycle so this whole process is a transactional flow of the order to case cycle dear friend if you really like that video then please subscribe me and thank you and uh, uh, subscribe my channel for the next tutorial thank you